All right. Are you ready? I mean, I think it's recording. So now I look better with the reflection. It says it's recording. Like, I don't know how to tell it's recording. Well, it says it's recording in the upper left. Yeah. I'm just going to assume. I'm going to assume it's recording correctly. Um, if you are, I don't know if it's recording everything or if it's just recording my screen. Oh, hey, hey, everybody. Someone just pointed at me and said it was time to start the show. <laughs> uh, uh, which, uh, welcome to Keith Explains from my house. It's a brave, brave new world. And I think this is how it is from now on. Like I, <laughs> I assume we just stay in our houses and we try not to die. <laughs> and we make do and we we give zoom money so that we can do our little tv show from our messy computer room this is actually where i have to work every day people and if you look at that pile of clutter behind me what i want you to understand is there's a very similar pile of clutter right in front of me which none of you can see but th this is what i look at all day long i got my <laughs> i got my keyboard uh, down here. Uh, it's vaguely clicky. Uh, I don't know if that came over the microphone, but it's not as clicky as my office keyboard, but it's still kind of clicky, and it's often the only noise in this room uh, when I'm sitting here uh, doing what I do, uh, which has become a very, I'm not going to say lonely, because we we have our little Slack channel at work and I can talk to people and we, we do the work video conferences where I clicky on the links and then little galleries of faces come up and we all say to each other, hey, how are you doing? Are you getting by? Everything okay? And then everyone's like, yeah, everything's fine. We're still employed. We're still typing. Uh, and we go on with our lives. But I think, I think this is it. Uh, just for the foreseeable future, uh, I guess. Funny thing is, like seven years from now, people are gonna tumble across this on YouTube, and they're gonna be like, "What the heck is this guy talking about?" Because they will have forgotten about the the fact that in <laughs> early 2020, uh, pretty much the world ended in a lot of ways. Just like just like every three weeks, like remember the fires in Australia. Like that was this year, like oh. like two and a half months ago, we were all like, well, global warming means we're all gonna die sometime before 2048. And now I'm like, man, if we make it to 2048, that, that will be like threading six needles at a time <laughs> with one piece of thread on the first push. Like that, if we get that, if we get to the point that global warming kills us, we will have done a great job, uh, is, is what I'm saying. Because apparently right now, bats. It's bats that did it to us, or maybe it's snakes. They were like, well, maybe the virus went through a snake before it got to the people. Like bat, snake, people, or bat, something else people or who knows uh for god's sakes don't don't read facebook and try to get any sense of what's going on because <laughs> like i know a lot of people and i've just been adding friends willy-nilly for years on like if i have met you i would probably add you as a friend on facebook if it suggested i might know you and an awful lot of the people I've added as a friend, because I, I do all these, I go on this boat thing and I know people and I went back to my high school reunion and I had a bunch of people from that. And let me tell you, 8% uh, of the people in the world are morons, uh, is my, my sincere belief at this point. Uh, and I know that because 8% of the people I know are just posting the dumbest shit on Facebook all the time. <sighs> Anyway, uh, it's the time of COVID, everyone. Uh, eventually, we'll get a cool name for it, I assume. Uh, you know, like, I don't even have any cool names, but, you know, we, we invented millennials, 
to describe all the people that, you know, kind of came of age right around 9-11 and uh, I, I don't know what we're going to call the people that, you know, graduated from college and then had to stay in their house for a year, not working, not paying off their student loans because everything ended. Like, congratulations, you don't get to go to prom. Not because no one asked you, right? That that was my fear for most of my adolescence, which was I would not go to prom because no one would go with me. Uh, but now there's an entire graduating class that's not going to prom because there's no prom. And it's not like there's no prom because the week before prom, the school auditorium burned down. They had to cancel prom. <laughs> it's like there's no prom because no one, there's no prom. Like the whole concept of I'm going to get together with six of my friends and we're going to sneak booze and eat cookies. No, it doesn't <laughs> happen. I, I don't know if you're going to graduate from high school. What do you do? Like it, we, we have long said that this generation is the participation trophy generation. And now, isn't that what we've done to them? I mean, yeah. haven't we really just went, well, I know you did go to school for 11.75 years and we're going to mail you a diploma. Just good, good job. You made it, I guess, or you didn't. Because if you've got a printer in your house, you could have just printed a diploma uh, six years ago when you got old enough to know how to download fake diplomas from the internet, which I bet is a thing. I'm not going to go check. But if I go to Google and type, I want to download a fake diploma, I don't, think, I don't think it would take me long to do that. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm fine here. Loretta's fine. We are adapting. Uh, we, uh, COVID was a little weird for us. Because uh, as you know, every year we go on this nerd cruise. And it happened, this year it happened in March. So like in February, people were starting to be a little freaked out. Like there were people up in Seattle that had the COVID and it was not great. And we live in Santa Clara Valley and there was there was some COVID in Santa Clara Valley. There were like 15 cases of it. So they were like, well, we're a little worried about the COVID. Everyone be careful. Cough into your elbow, as if we'd never been told that one before. <laughs> and then we we were about to get on a cruise ship, which I had paid a lot of money for. Uh, and we were about to get on a cruise ship that I look forward to all year long. Like I... Like I have a countdown on my phone that would tell me like exactly how many days it was going to be before I would be on my on my beloved nerd cruise with my beloved nerd people. And then we just kept getting closer and every once in a while someone would go, does this seem like a good idea? And we all just convinced ourselves this was fine. Mm -hmm. just, they know what they're doing. Everyone's taking care. We, the week before the nerd cruise, we called the guy, we packed our bags. Uh, Loretta worked the election, so she got home really late. We got up on a Wednesday morning at dawn. We got up on a Wednesday morning before dawn. Guy drove us up to San Francisco. Uh, we got on a plane, we flew to Florida. We hung around in Florida for a couple of days. We saw some friends. Everyone was like, are you vaguely worried about getting on a cruise ship? And I was like, no, I'm not worried. They'll figure it out. Uh, and a couple people that were going on the boat with us were like, yeah, we, we, think, we decided that's a bad idea. We're not going. And a very few people were like, well, yeah, it turns out we were out of the country. So they won't let us onto a boat because we were in Venice last week. And as you know, Venice is, everyone's dead in Venice. So we got out just in time, but we can't get on the boat with you. We were like, well, we'll miss you, but I'm sure it's fine. And then we, we got on the boat and they had the, look, we're pulling out of Florida, free drinks on the upper deck. And we waved by to Florida and we're like, oh, nothing bad's gonna happen. Uh, 
And uh, as you know, I'm I'm a glutton for punishment, uh, and I'm just like I I decided a couple years ago I I should not live without the internet because it just makes me twitchy. So I I paid the money on the boat so I could get on the internet from anywhere through the satellites. And then, you know, Monday morning I got up and I was reading the news and they were like, yeah, they, they think they're gonna not do any more cruises. And I was like, but I'm, I'm, I'm on a cruise. Like what, <laughs> what, 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 what does that mean? Like, do I, do I just stay here forever? Cause I, I could do that. This is a boat full of my people. Uh, and as long as the, as long as the fruity drinks hold out, I'm happy as a clam to be here. I don't even need the little umbrellas. Like the little umbrellas are bonus. And as it turns out, they don't give you little umbrellas anymore because you use them once and you throw them away. That's very wasteful. They just give you the booze with the ice and then you drink the booze and maybe you chew on the ice. Don't tell my dentist. Uh, and then you get another one. Uh, so we were there, we were on the ocean and they were like, yeah, I guess we're shutting down the cruise industry. And I was like, well, I'm sure nothing bad's gonna happen. Uh, and then as it turns out, largely nothing bad happened on the cruise. Uh, no one in the boat got sick. We pulled back into port. Uh, if you've never been on a cruise, generally uh, the boats pull into port, like they will sell you a seven day cruise. And what that means is six days, and a couple hours at night, you will be on the boat. And then we are gonna kick you off the boat as, as shortly after dawn as possible because we gotta clean this boat for three hours. A whole bunch of new people are getting on this boat starting at 11.30 today. And they wanna get into their rooms, you gotta be off. Uh, we pulled back into Fort Lauderdale and they were like, well, Take your time. Don't don't stress. Because uh, as it turns out, there was there was no one waiting to get back on our boat. Like they, we just rolled our luggage off and we waved goodbye to the very nice people that had taken delicious care of us, and had given me very very many drinks, uh, all of which I had. And then I guess they rolled some more food on, and then the boat pulled out because the boat has to pull out some other boats pulling in the next day to dump their passengers. Boats got to go. It just sat out in the Caribbean for like two weeks doing nothing until they figured out what to do. Even now, they don't quite know what to do with the different boats. Uh, but we, we landed, and like everything was, it, you know, normally things change a little gradually, but for an awful lot of people that got off, this, they got off in an entirely new world where, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. you know, we, we had plans to like go see some friends afterwards. You know, my, we were going to go see my, you know, compromised friend who is, uh, who was paralyzed from the middle of his chest down after an accident. And I was like, no, we are not going to go see him. <laughs> That seems like a bad idea, like a very bad idea. Uh, we did not go see our other friends. We, I, I was gonna spend four days in Florida afterwards doing touristy stuff. There was no more touristy stuff to do because they were like, uh, no, get out. So we changed our flights, we flew back early, uh, we got back uh, and here again, in the span of a week, from my perspective, just everything was different. Like I, I live a mile from where I work. So I don't drive to work, I hop on my bike or I walk half an hour south of here and I go through the gates and I wave at the security guard and I put my badge and I walk into my office and I set my bag down and I say hi to Connor or I wait for Connor to show up and Connor says hi to me uh, and no. None of that happened anymore. While I was gone, they were like, everyone works from home now. Just get used to it. So it was a Monday and I briefly went down to my office at nine o'clock at night so I could pick up a laptop and some other shit from my office, cable wise and such. 
and I brought it home and I have not, I have not been there in six or seven weeks and apparently almost no one else has either. And instead I, I get up in the morning and by get up, I mean, my brain just decides <laughs> I'm done sleeping sometime around eight. And then I get out of bed and I pull on my bathrobe and I walk downstairs and I pour myself a cup of coffee and I walk 25 feet back upstairs to here and I sit down and I start working. Uh, and that, did you start a timer? Yeah. Good, because I did it. I know, that's 12 minutes. Got 12 minutes left, good yes. Lord. I'm, I'm still like on the first item on my list. Anyway, just like now I work from home. It's crazy. Like I had to, you know, before I had okay internet speeds. And so I had to like call Comcast and say, hey, turns out I'm going to be here a lot. What's the fastest the internet can go at my house? And they were like, well, if you give us $130 a month, we will arrange for you to get five times as much speed at your house. And I was like, let's do that. Um, no. And uh, that's kind of nice because it means I can Zoom from my house now. I had to pay Zoom. Like, you know, I everyone video conferences now and video conferencing wise, it's either Zoom or WebEx or FaceTime or Facebook Messenger. Well, I was like, well, we're gonna, like, how do you keep in contact with people? You know, we, we type a message with some people, but we would like to talk to our family occasionally and some of them have Macs and some of them have iPhones and some of them have Lord knows what else. So I, I had to give the nice people at Zoom $14 a month so that I can do this. <sighs> um, uh, other things that are, so things about my, things about my life at home that are different. First of all, I had always assumed that, you know, worst case, whenever I needed something I could order from Amazon, it would show up two days later. Now, <laughs> no, it, it just doesn't work anymore. I, I don't know why it, I'm not quite sure why it, it's like the one time I need something two days from now is the one time they can't, like before I would order something and they would say like, do you want this two days from now? Or would you like a dollar to get it four days from now? And then you can use that dollar to buy a book later. And I was like, I don't need it two days from now. Please give me the dollar. Now, when I order things from Amazon, they don't say, hey, would you accept getting this four days from now in exchange for a dollar? They're like, well, we're going to send you that in May, late May, maybe June, might be June. Don't count on May is what we're saying. Um, uh, I, I have seen my UPS delivery guy many more times in the last six weeks than I have seen him in the previous six years. Like, I don't know his name, but if I walked past him on the street now, even if he wasn't in the brown suit, I would know who he was. Uh, because, like, I can tell the different delivery trucks by the noise they make as they go oh, past wow. my window. Yep. Like the UPS truck has a deeper thumb than the FedEx truck. Yep. Uh, and the garbage truck, every, <laughs> the garbage truck is both very loud and I hear them hit the tree every time they come down the driveway. Like I hear a, <laughs> I'm like, well, there's the garbage truck. And then I look over and I can see a garbage truck go by and then, Four, four or five minutes later, I'll see him go past. Did you know that every Tuesday, the city of Sunnyvale is still sweeping their streets with one of them street sweeping trucks? I'm going to say right about 1145 every Tuesday. <laughs> Again, because I hear them and I, I have started to notice things like this. 
they they have become the new rhythms of my life. Uh, they're almost the only way. They're almost the only way I know what day it is sometimes. Like, uh, this was about a month ago. Uh, but I'm going to tell you, I we were like three weeks in, get up, come over here, sit all day in my little office, work, go downstairs, watch some TV, repeat. Uh, and I woke up in the morning uh, around 8.15 because I looked at my watch. And I was kind of laying in bed and I was warm. I was a little happy. I was like, ah, this is going to be a great Saturday. I got a list of things I'm going to do today. Just going to stretch a little bit. I'm going to get my feet. I'm going to stretch my feet, stretch my shoulders a little bit, relax before I get up because it, uh, I guess I'm going to try and relax a little today because as we know, it's Saturday. Uh, and I did that for about two or three minutes. And then my brain went, uh, it's Tuesday. <laughs> it's not Saturday, it's Tuesday. You, in, you in fact, have a nine o'clock meeting on Tuesday, which, which you now have half an hour to shower and dress before. Uh, and I lied about that. I would never shower before a meeting on web apps. Uh, I do have a general rule. Uh, I try and change into actual clothes uh, before I have a meeting on WebEx. Uh, and by actual clothes, um, I mean is sweatpants. I've worn a lot of sweatpants in the last six or seven weeks. Um, I am kind of a nerd. I have worn blue jeans my entire life, as far back as I can think. I don't think I've had a pair of blue jeans on in five weeks. I think I remember the day that I last <laughs> put a pair of blue jeans on. Now it's it's entirely sweatpants. More than that, I have begun to rank my sweatpants by how much I like them. I, like I have a I have the pair on I have right now. I really like this pair because it got a nice drawstring tie and the elastic still a little elastic -y. It's got pockets and. I've got this, got this other pair that just, like, like the tie just doesn't quite stay tight. Like the, there's something wrong with the drawstring and the elastic's not the greatest. But I have to wash these sweatpants every so often. So I, I guess what I'm saying is, uh, I'm kind of a, uh, yeah, I've kind of given up on on some things that previously were more important uh, in terms of hygiene. I'm even going to say style. I don't think I was stylish before, uh, but I guarantee you I am not stylish now. Um, uh, we've, we used to go out for dinner a lot um, because I would get home from work at 6.30 or 7 o'clock and we would just get in the car and go somewhere for food and it was nice. You'd get different kind. No, that that doesn't really like I'm cooking a lot now. Like I I have I don't have a sourdough starter. I want to say I've not <laughs> haven't gone that far. Um, I have on occasion when I was in the garage said to myself, "Hey, I should bring the bread maker in." I could, yeah. Like for the first three weeks, I couldn't even think about making bread because we did not have enough flour in the house. And flour is still, for some reason, unobtainable uh, in anything other than industrial quantities. So, of course, I have bought an industrial quantity of flour <laughs> out in the garage. Um, but yeah. Uh, I, I haven't, I haven't done the sourdough starter yet, but I have oh. cooked a lot of things uh, that I would not pre. Like I have woken up in, on a Saturday and went, "Well, what are we gonna do today, brain?" And then I'd look over at my list of tasks and I'd be like, "Oh, I don't. Hey, I could make scones. <laughs> I, I could dig out my recipe for scones, which I got from." I believe Ina, because a good friend of mine recommended I look at her stuff. Look, scone recipes. And then 
I could make some scope. The, the downside is I, I realized why some of the food I eat is so incredibly bad for me. <laughs> uh, when I dropped an entire <laughs> stick of butter into my scones recipe, I was like, well, this is, this is why scones are bad for me. It's just, it's, I mean, I'm, I'm going to put more butter on this when it's warm. It, does, it doesn't need it. We know that now. Like, you know, I, they put the food facts on the back of the boxes. They never quite occurred to me. I'm going to send in a suggestion. They should just put a visual representation of the, the stuff that's in the food. Like if I buy a cookie and I turn it over and there's like three quarters of a stick of butter on the back of the package, I'll be like, oh, this, these are not the cookies for me. I should be eating. But yeah, we, I, you know, it's not, it's not just, it's not just dinner, right? I have to have lunch every day. I used to just walk over to the cafeteria and then I would complain about not having great variety there. Like it's just, geez, it's Tuesday. Do I have to have chili again? Whereas now I'm like, well, I bought a package of ham. So I guess I'm having a ham sandwich for lunch until I run out of ham. And then I can have turkey. Till I run out of turkey, and hopefully I will go back to the grocery store before I run out of turkey, having run out of ham, uh, before my bread goes moldy. Uh, I was at Lucky's shortly after this all started, uh, and I was like, I should buy some ramen noodle soup. I like that. Uh, let me tell you, the ramen noodle soup, empty. That aisle, just gone. Like, who would have thought? styrofoam with with noodles everyone wants it everyone wanted it uh but there was this one box at the end ramen noodles and i was like okay i'll get oh good lord these are two and a half dollars a piece instead of you know 29 cents a piece which is what i just what i assume ramen noodles cost they've got to cost like seven cents to make ramen noodles i was like okay so I bought an eight pack, I bought like $20 worth of ramen noodle soup. Uh, and I was like, I am gonna regret this. <laughs> uh, but on the plus side, it's delicious ramen noodle soup. Like it doesn't have the little powder packet in it. It's got an actual flavor packet with oil and miso and shit. Ooh. It's delightful. <laughs> Sadly, I had the last one today. So now, now for the rest of my life, I will have to eat 29 cent ramen and both regret it and feel look i'm already over time so i'm gonna i'm gonna wrap the show up and then i'm gonna keep talking so that the people in the audience can hear see i taunted them with my list of topics and i've gotten to like a third of them uh so i have to i'll keep recording maybe we'll put the long one up on youtube anyway good night if you if you're still alive